Hey, website owners. If you want to learn how I doubled my website AdSense income overnight, keep watching. In this video, I'll show you exactly what I did to double my earnings by twofold in just three hours. I'll show you proof of income and proof of traffic. And maybe you can learn some of the tricks and implement them on your website so your AdSense income goes up. Let's get started. So on June 2nd, 2016, I bought a website from a broker and my purchase price was $6,800 with fees and hosting. Here is a screenshot of this site's earnings before I purchased it the last month, which is May of 2016. And in May, the site earned $327 or $10.54 per day. Again, I purchased this site on June 2nd. So here is my first full month of earnings once I bought the site. And as you can see in June, the site has earned $617.31 or $21.29 per day. Again, this is just 29 days in June that I owned the site. And the increase in daily earnings was 104% or more than double. So let's take a look at the combined traffic for this website. Between May and June, there were 94,000 site visitors. In May, there were 46,296 visitors to the website. And in June, there were 47,759. Now that is a difference of only 3.22% between the two months. But if we look at our AdSense earnings, the daily earnings went up by 104% once I've done my AdSense optimization. So let's take a look at exactly what I've done to double my daily earnings. So the reason why the site wasn't performing to its full potential is because I was using Google's responsive ad units. And when you use a responsive ad unit, you have no control of what ad size shows up on your website. In this screenshot here, you can see a responsive ad unit shows a 468 pixel by 60 pixel banner where it could actually show a much bigger ad, which is much more likely to be clicked and earn you more money. So here's what I've done. I replaced the responsive ad with a custom size fixed unit which is 670 pixels by 280. And here's why I've done it. This custom size can fit both a lot of text or a very popular 336 by 280 large rectangle, which often pay a lot more than a 468 by 60 banner. However, biggest difference in ad earnings came from changing a responsive ad unit on the mobile version of my site to a custom size fixed unit. As you can see here, a responsive ad unit would typically show a 300 pixel by 50 pixel mobile banner, which doesn't perform well in my testing. Once I switched it to a 300 by 230 pixel ad unit, the site performance way went way up, which I'll show you in the next screenshot. But basically, you see a much larger ad with a custom ad size versus a responsive ad size. So your site visitors are much more likely to click on the ad. Let's look at this AdSense earnings. So here is my first month in June and this is broken down by platforms. As you can see, the desktop doesn't earn that much because there is not a lot of desktop traffic. As I said, most of my site visitors are mobile users and the red curve here is the earnings from the mobile users. And as you can see, it's $559.59. So basically 560 bucks. Now that's a lot more by itself than the previous months of combined earnings, desktop and mobile. So as you can see, by just changing one ad unit on the whole website from responsive to fixed size, I was able to increase my daily earnings by more than 100%. So why was my site using a responsive ad unit in the first place? Basically, most website owners or webmasters don't know how to make switching from mobile to desktop optimized ads by themselves. So they choose to use a responsive ad unit, which purpose was originally to bring your old, you know, websites de designed for desktops to bring them into age of mobile by shrinking the ad size depending on screen resolution. So that was a few years back. Now most websites today are optimized for mobile, especially after mobile get on that uh, happened a couple years back. And 95% uh, of WordPress themes 
and WordPress.org today are responsive. What that means is depending on the size screen, the same theme shrinks or expands uh, and then you can see same content and it just hides unnecessary elements or pushes them down so you don't see them right away unless you scroll down. And your main site content is still front and center. Uh, so that's a responsive theme. But a responsive ad unit doesn't work well with that because it will choose a less paying uh, Google ad. Or in my experience, it chooses a less paying Google ad. For some reason, I don't know how Google algorithm works in this regard. But uh, as you've seen from a previous picture here, on a desktop, it shows a very small banner. So there is a lot of white space around it and it just doesn't look good. It's not big enough. So users are not tend, do not tend to click on it as well as on a bigger rectangle unit. So what I do is I use a special PHP script, which you can actually download on my website, link in the description below, or you can just go to adsense ninja.com forward slash mobile to get the script and to find instructions on how to use it. So the script is right here and the way it works is it finds a browser user agent and based on that user agent it shows either a mobile or desktop ad. So over here in mobile it sees that it's a, an iPhone 5 device and it shows a mobile specific ad that I created versus just a responsive ad unit that automatically shows an appropriate ad size. And over here on desktop, it shows a bigger desktop ad. So again, uh, the script is pretty simple. All you need to do is put it in your website theme. So I'm using WordPress, so it's pretty simple for me. And my instructions are based on WordPress. However, you can use it for Joomla, Drupal, even a custom PHP website or any other website. But you would need a little bit of not coding experience, but just basic understanding of how HTML works, how a WordPress theme editor works. And I'll create a separate video to walk you through that stuff. Uh, it will be on that link. So the video will be posted on that link for getting the PHP script. And uh, basically, this is all I do. I use this script. It automatically selects an appropriate ad size best based on screen resolution and my earnings go way up as you can see here 104 percent daily uh, earnings increase so just to show you how the site has been doing today is uh, november 11th and so far the site has earned 4600 dollars so that's about 67 percent of the original purchase price. It's only been five months and 10 days. So it's a pretty good return on investment. I've calculated it to be around 150% or 152 to be exact. But in my estimation, the site will pay for itself a lot faster. And at 12 months mark, it should be about 170% ROI. So I figure at about 12 months mark, so June 2nd, 2017, the site will have earned about thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars based on current earnings around a thousand bucks a month. Probably will go up. Now I'm keeping my finger crossed for that. I don't know, but it should repay its original purchase price pretty fast. Couple more months, it will pay for itself, and I will be doing great after that. But all of that came from just three hours of work on June second, and uh, most of that work was just creating a mobile ad switcher and also making small changes to CSS code or style sheet on the website itself. So just a little adjustment on how it looks on mobile and desktop. All right, thank you for watching. My name is Leo. I am a creator of AdSense Success Course on Udemy. If you want to learn more about optimizing your website for, desk, uh, for better AdSense performance, so all the tricks for desktop and mobile websites, you can take this course on Udemy. You don't have to to implement what I show in this video. Again, it's free on my website AdSense Ninja.com forward slash mobile. All the instructions are there. I will make a separate video to show you how to implement that code. The code itself is there. But there are a lot of a lot more secrets to uh, efficient AdSense publishing, how to make more money with the existing 
site traffic. So if you're interested in that, take the course. It should very well pay for itself. Again, um, just as you can see in this example, I increased my AdSense earnings from $300 to about a thousand bucks a month in just three months. So from June to September, it went from $300 to $1,000 a month. Now the traffic did go up a little bit. So um, the best example would be June because RPM stayed pretty flat after that, but it doubled from May to June. So in just three hours of work, I am making a lot more money each month. And uh, if you do a simple optimization to your website, there's, uh, there isn't a lot to learn, but it's just testing and understanding how the system works. So, and also following Google AdSense guidelines. So for best results, I recommend that you take my course. You don't have to. There's a lot of free stuff on my website, adsenseninja.com. Thank you for watching this. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your friends who own the website. Maybe this will help them increase their AdSense earnings. I hope it helps you. Let me know how it worked out in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video.